iconic London and it is the triple threat mascara pretty good timing actually I was restyling it to the low on the mascara so you can give this a go flashback okay so I'm gonna attempt to pull this wardrobe out and actually get it demolished because the top part, which you can't even see, does not want to come undone. One second. So I'm not bending over quite so much. Um, that bit there doesn't want to come undone. Um, okay, so other than, uh, yes, again, another piece of paperwork um, that Dad and Granddad are sorting, I'm leaving that to them. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, we can get in there like ASAP because. From what I can understand, the landlord is willing to rent to us like by the end of the week, like start the lease ASAP, which is great for us. So all fingers, toes crossed. Um, so yeah, we are officially getting stuff moved, etc. Things up our butts to get us moving. So that is my plan to get what I can done today. We will be back tomorrow and we've got a van hired on Tuesday so that's gonna move as much stuff as he can like big stuff so I do need to officially get like the desk and stuff sorted so they can go to the storage unit easily enough um, yeah Let's figure this out, shall we? One week later. Oh. Oh. Um, sorry. This is Vlogmas Day whatever. I don't know what day I'm putting this on. Um, but this will be a flashback clip anyway. Still in this home. It's weird because obviously we've been doing all the paperwork, etc. We are at the end of like that. Um, hopefully getting the keys on Wednesday. We've been here for a decade. <laughs> a lot has happened in this room, in this house. In the last 10 years, me and dad have grown as father and daughter, as adults, me going through my late teens, early 20s. And it's very strange. I never thought I'd still be living at home at this age, but I think we all thought we'd be in different places and the pandemic definitely threw a lot of our lives into an unknown future pot. But yeah, um, I'm looking around this room and I'm obviously packing up what I want to keep and throwing away and donating things that no longer give me joy or have purpose for me. But it's starting to sink in. I have just taken the bed apart and actually sat in the corner of a room that I haven't seen the floor of since my bed was put up and it is a little strange. A little weird and I'm unsure how I feel. This is not my first move and I'm sure it won't be my last. Um, I've had some more traumatic moves than others. This is certainly not up there in traumatic move, but it has definitely brought up some feelings about moving that I didn't realize I still had. Um, Dad is in a better place, thankfully. Um, still not great, but he's in a better spot. Um, grandmother comes tomorrow. She is aware that I'm anxious to see her and how she will interact with dad. <sighs> um, 
She promises she's going to be good, but whether I actually believe that, I don't know. She said that when this whole process began. It's weird to think that a decade of your life, a chapter of your life can close. So, suddenly this is three, four months of work in the progress. And I guess it finally feels like when this is actually happening, now that my bed is apart and on the other side of the room. Um, yeah, I guess it feels like this move is actually going to happen. So, I guess the point of this flashback clip is to say thank you to my room and goodbye. There will be one more final goodbye, but yeah. I think it just hit me today, that's all. Like, actually getting the bed taken apart and leaning against the side of the wall. Even though it's quite possible I could reuse that bed. It came apart easier than I thought it would. Um, yeah. I didn't think this part of the move would be difficult. I didn't think my last weekend here would feel so final. And I think it is that, is it, that knowing this is going to be knock on wood, like my last weekend in this home, a home we made ours, that after some of the crap we got put through, this was really the place me and dad thrived. The place we we dealt with some of it, but we actually really let ourselves heal a good chunk here. And now we're taking the next step, and that is okay. This is a good thing. Stressful. But a good thing. Here is me doing some more packing. I am going through some of the stuff at Dazland, figuring out what is important and what isn't. I ended up deciding that the tree probably wasn't savable as one of the legs is missing. You can see family in the background. People came over to help, which was fine. But yeah, this was a weird process for me and it's something I'm still doing. Um, just getting rid of small things in my life that one point gave me joy in a bad time it just seems odd but it was nice at the same time I'm picking up the usable tinsel watching the TV behind you and yeah just deciding what to get rid of and what to keep So, it's quarter to four, and I'm actually started actually because he went to the tip and I still haven't heard of him, which is a little strange on a Sunday, so I'm going to check he's okay, he hasn't got stuck in traffic or anything. Um, yeah, this room is once again full, but it's full of stuff that needs moving, so really probably can't be done until... Um, 
witty move. But um, yeah, it's been interesting. Today wasn't too bad. Grandma came. She was pretty good actually. She scrubbed our bathroom, which was nice because I just haven't got around to doing that and she felt it was full. Um, there was talks of her coming back Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I think Dad's only going to be able to handle her one day, whether she likes it or not. So she'll have to pick which day she comes. If she, if Dad says yeah, okay, she can come. But we'll see. Um. So yeah. Um. It's just one of those things, and we're relaxing. I feel a bit near. I actually feel kind of sick, but I don't know if that's just. Because I'm not eating too great at the moment, or what, so we'll see. Um, I need to finish washing the walls down and then... Um, and putting the border up, which it's nearly ready to do anyway, so... I've only got a little bit more to do, which I'll do tomorrow, and then I can put the border up. I just don't feel up to doing anymore. Not when I feel like I'm going to be sick. So, and it also means climbing over everything to get to it, and I just don't have that right now. So, we'll see. The little shits there next door uh, have finally quieted down. Don't get me wrong, I like kids. I want kids. Um, but those kids are little shits, and the parents do jack shit to actually parent them. So, <sighs> Kind of probably one of the few things I'm grateful for when we move is that we don't have to put with them anymore. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna relax for a little bit, message dad, and I will see you all in present day or whatever vlogmas this is. So it is officially key day. And there's little ones just going over the room. Which is fine. Um, <laughs> to Mister is just any other day, luckily. Um, yeah. Uh, today should be an exciting day. Everything has been signed, etc. So it should be in the process of just double signing a well, signing a lease and then moving in. Um, if I get a chance, how did I know that was coming? I will do a yes, then I you want green tea, don't you? Um. I'm just waiting for it to load. Let's change the interface again.
I'll talk to you later. I don't know how well you can see me here, but I'm just waiting for Dad. Here he comes. I'm gonna go get the new key. So I was taking a video for our own reference for moving in at the beginning, seeing what it was like, taking pictures of any possible damage that was done by previous tenants or by them when they would come in to check things, which is here. But in general, I just thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough, let you see a glimpse into this house before we move in. End of flashback. Five o'clock, and me and Mr. Back there are actually waiting to go to. Um, where are we waiting to? To a friend of mine. This will be the long rest, day three, I think. Um, or is it day two? It's probably day two because I'm probably very only just got into Dad's house at this point. The new house. Anyway, he's all excited. We've just actually had a KFC because it was quick, easy, and something he hasn't had in a while. Um, and probably won't have again for a while, till like after Christmas, like well after Christmas, I think. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just trying to warm the car up a little bit and then we'll be off. Well, we're going to figure out where to look around and be nosy for a little bit while um, we wait because we don't need to be there for many minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Tell me, won't you boys and girls? Yeah. Dad, you've got nothing to worry about. Yes, but if you're working on the other side of the castle, you won't hear them. And Freddy will eat us for his tea. Oh dear, you're right. Fifi and Lana's bedrooms are on the other side of the castle. They'll never hear you from over there. There must be someone who can help us. I know. Girls and boys, if you see Freddy the Fox, can you shout buttons as loud as you can? Can you shout buttons? Buttons! Buttons is my very best friend and he works here at the castle with me. So can you do that for me? Yeah. Oh good, because he's never too far away and he'll always come running if he hears his name. Well, buttons! Who? What a whiff! I'm certain I can smell mice somewhere. And to be honest with you kids, I'm starving. Ah, oh, there you are. A couple of short clips of Panto. It was good. The little one was a bit meh about it, uh, which happens. So I spent all day moving yesterday and then we did Panto today. Well, last night. I'm gonna end this here because obviously I didn't finish the vlog last night because we were absolutely trashed. We didn't get home till like quarter to ten and little one didn't get to sleep till just gone 11 and it was just a very exciting long day so i'm gonna get up we're gonna get little one sorted and i have more moving to do today so i will see you in tomorrow's vlog Bye -bye.